All right, everybody, how are you doing today? Looks like Aptera is taking some positive steps to get their PI vehicle out on the road. And we're gonna talk about that today. So let's get into this baby right now. Welcome back everybody to my channel. It's good to have you here. Welcome to Free Power. And we are actually gonna talk about how Chris and Steve have actually taken steps when they went to United Arab Emirates to talk about their Aptera vehicle to the people there and to the government. So it looks like they're really got some positive feedback from that area. And so we're, we're actually going to talk about that. Let's, let's get into this video. Hey, I'm Terra fans. Steve here, DriftX. We're wrapping up two uh, long, hot days here in Abu Dhabi. We've had lots of great meetings with our partners here, with uh, different government groups and, uh, and strategic partners. And we had a chance to present Aptera on a panel and uh, talk about some of our competitive advantages and how Aptera's technology accelerates EV implementation around the world. And uh, we really see that firsthand here in Abu Dhabi because the government is quite progressive in how they're thinking about bringing in these new technologies like Aptera and others. And it's interesting to see all of the different things that they have going on here firsthand. So I like how Steve brought out that when they got there to Abu Dhabi, how they have strategic partners there and how they are act, have actually set this up. It took them about a year to get everything set up. So no doubt they've been talking to their partners about Aptera and at Abu Dhabi, this was one of the best place to really come together and discuss that, uh, especially with the government. But, you know, this is really good because you know that Steve actually have, work for individuals in that part of the world before when he was doing his fam grow and he has close partners that he have actually worked for in that area so no doubt they probably helped him set this up and this is really good because they could probably have connections with the government we're actually going to talk about that a little bit more but I think this is uh, excellent because he said that this was actually, they had a good day where they were talking on the panel about their Aptera and how it's bringing a EV to the world that's really going to change everything. And with this being the first solar powered EV on the road, that's going to eliminate a lot of the problems that the EVs are having today, such as uh, the charging infrastructure, with Aptera, you really don't need a DC fast charging setup with it. I mean, unless you're doing a long distance drive. Uh, but of course, if you get the 1000 mile Aptera, that won't be as big of an issue. Plus, you can also plug the Aptera in from a regular 110 outlet and still get a good mile of range for the Aptera because it's so aerodynamic and the drag coefficient is so low that it doesn't take a lot of energy to push the air out the way. Also, for those who are just going to be traveling around the city, if you're just going to be traveling less than 40 miles a day and you're just commuting to work and back and you're getting 40 miles of range just from solar power, I mean, that's a big game changer right there. That's, that is just so mind boggling. And no doubt that in Abu Dhabi and the United Arab of Emirates, they want to make this transition uh, to new technology. And no doubt that people that he talked to there at Abu Dhabi can see exactly what Aptera is doing. Uh, but he also talked about how the government is getting involved. Let's, let's listen to that as well. We're finishing up our last day in Abu Dhabi here at the Yaz Marina Circuit. We've spent all day doing ride and drives with Aptera reservation holders and different government officials having meetings that uh, we've been working for for the past year or so. So it was a very positive day. So this is what's so impressive. They brought out that they've actually had meetings that they had set up for a little over a year and they were giving ride in the gamma to investors as well as government officials. I think this is really good because 
we know that the Drift X was actually set up so that they can, the governments can bring in new technology as far as uh, transportation is involved, whether that's on land or on sea or in air. And the government is being proactive in getting this technology to their part of the world. So they no doubt had a very impressive impact. And now that they're getting with U.S. capital to help them get all their parts that they need for mass producing the Aptera PI, then, you know, I say that when they went to the United Arab Emirates, that was a huge success for Aptera. And no doubt U.S. capital is going to consolidate all the investors together to help accomplish this. So what do you think? I think that that was really great, them going there. And now that they're taking the next steps in production, that nothing can stop them now. These guys are really on a big roll, like I've been saying from the beginning, that they are going to come out with this baby and they are going to change the world. This is really going to be a big plus in the automotive industry. Anyway, once again, if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, catch all my videos when they come out. And for my patrons, thank you very much. I salute you and I bow to you and I appreciate everything that you guys do. Uh, please continue to help me. And if you want to join, just hit the join button down below. All right. Well, you take care and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.